Hello everyone and good morning and this is our day two and today we are starting the Linux part after completing the cloud computing after creating the two practicals and I hope everyone has under, everyone understood very well guys just I need yes no in the voice from you guys yes everyone? sir yes, it's clear okay cool yes sir cool and now we are going to start the Linux okay so before going into that I would like to know little bit from you guys till now what you know what is linux it will be good for me go ahead please it's an open source sub operating system yes very good point open source yes okay what else you know about the linux uh, linux is a free operating system cool okay i agree with your point what else server side most used operating system yes pala you are correct what else it's free <laughs> <laughs> it's a free open source linux yeah. is more secure than windows i absolutely agree the points or the answer you have given it's very similar as my question why the linux is popular the very first point is free and the most important part linux is completely free open source if i talk about the keyword open source means the code itself is available over the internet if i'm talking about the open source and code is available means we have to go into this place okay this is mostly a github i will also teach what exactly the github in my real-time classrooms as well but at this point you can understand that github is a place where all the code is available and this is the repo this is the repo where around 20 plus or 30 plus operating system codes are available into this place like cadex os c live Helium and which we never heard. I also never heard this name, but these are the operating system open source available into the market and most popular where I can see that my Linux is also available. Linux kernel means here is the place. If I will click into this, this Linux, this is the repo where the Linux code is available. That's my, my second point. Linux is a open source available to us. Open source means the code itself is available into this repo. And this code has been written from the last, we can say, uh, 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 it's actively written. You can see five days ago, some changes also happened here. And you can see four months ago, also someone has written six, uh, four years ago, someone has written this readme file as well. Means in the GitHub, we, the code is getting maintained by 13,000 different developers who written the code of Linux. Plus, in this, if you will see here, the beauty of GitHub, he is telling the code is written 98% in language C. The code of Linux is written 0.8% in assembly language and 0.1% Python, 0.1% Perl. But Linux code has been written 98% in C language. So if someone will ask the question, if it's open source, have you downloaded the code? Have you checked the code? As a developer perspective, you can say, yes, we know it. How to do it? If very simple, guys, you have to click on this click code. If you are a non-technical person, you don't know anything, you never meet with me, okay? Or you never done into any of the DevOps tool. Then what you can see, you can click on this zip code and it's downloaded, but it's not a good approach. You meet with me. So you have to download the code with the help of GitHub, okay? With the help of Git tool. What exactly it is? This is the link, okay? I copied this link. I'm opening Git bash in my machine, Git bash, okay? I just searched it. Git bash is already installed in my machine. And here it is. And let me create a one folder. It will be easy for you guys. Um, I'm creating here new folder. The new folder name is, uh, what is the today's date? 4th December, 4th December. Okay, demo. Okay, I just created a one folder. I'm going inside this folder and I'm opening a Git bash from here. Git bash here and Git bash will be open in this location. Uh, if you want to learn Linux, if you want to learn Linux, we can install this simple software also in our Windows machine and we can learn the Linux command. You can type ls and yes, some ls related command or some basic Linux command will also run it. This is a git bash tool, which I will install it. I will help you out how to install in your machine. Okay. So at this point, what is my intention? I want to download the Linux code. There is a command. The command is git clone. Okay. Clone means download. The English meaning of clone is uh, copy the things I am downloading git clone and I'm providing the repo name here from where I'm getting the repo name I'm going into my website again 
going into the GitHub again, click on code, click on this place. And in couple of seconds, I'm just typing paste. The command will be git clone and the repo name and I'm pressing enter. As soon as I press enter, one Linux folder is going to be get created in my machine. You can see here one Linux folder at 4 December 11.32, 11.32 is my time and the code is getting downloaded. This code is really big 800 MB code. So it will take a couple of minutes for me also to download it. 200 MB has been downloaded till now. It will take some couple of seconds based on your internet speed also. Around 400 MB is downloaded in my machine. So I'm just waiting. As soon as it will download it, you can see the complete code will be available in my machine here. Is that simple? How to download? The reason behind it, it's open source. You can download it. You can open in your any of your IDE and you can see the code as well. Is that okay? How to download a code? Yeah. Okay. It's still 13%. Still, it will take a time. Okay. So what I can do, I can just cancel this and I will download the some small code, okay? Because it will take a time. So what I can do, I can go here and we have a, we know the most, one of the most popular tool like VLC player, right? I can go to the VLC player, VL, VLC player, uh, player, GitHub. Okay, I'm going to the GitHub of VLC player. What is VLC guys? If you know, can you help me out? What exactly the VLC is? It's a media player. It's a media player, right? I would like to download the VLC code also here because this is a small size and it will be faster. What I'm doing here, I'm going here. I'm running the command git clone. I'm typing the paste. I'm pressing enter. The VLC folder will get created. And yep, it's 12, 13, 14, 15 percent has been completed. In some couple of seconds, the complete code will be available in front of me. Okay, that's the beauty of Git. That's the beauty of GitHub. The code is available, open source available. And that's the beauty of GitHub. It will be downloaded in a structured format. That's why I'm doing like this. Otherwise, the traditional way is also there. You can click on this zip file. It will take some couple of seconds and the zip file will be downloaded. But this is not a structured format, okay? Code should be into the structured format, how the developer has written. See, this has been downloaded. This also is 15%. It's extracting it. Okay. It will take some couple of seconds and this will be available in my machine. This zip file is downloaded. That's a traditional approach. I don't like it because we are a developers at this point. We are a DevOps engineers, right? Mm, 94, 97, 100%. It's done. Okay. It's extracting the files. Okay because 4,000 or 58,000 some files are there. Now it's done. You can again see here, the VLC code is downloaded in my machine completely. Whatever is look like here, you can see auto tool, auto tool, bin, bin, docs, extra, docs, extra. Everything has been downloaded in my machine. What is the next step? If you are a de developer, if you are a developer, okay, then you can open into your Visual Studio code and then you can write the code if you you can modify the code as per your requirement agree if you are a developer if you are a devops engineer no you don't have to do it okay the developer people will do it but as a devops engineer if i will understand that much it's good for us or and i will teach you more briefly about this tool what is visual studio code what exactly the git all these things in my actual classes also okay so at this point what i did I just explain you the another point, open source, okay? It's an open source, the code is available into the market, we can download as per our requirement, okay? Yep, secure. And the another reason for the open source is you can download, okay? The actual Linux code has been came into the market and you can see there are lots of different, different flavors has been created because actual code is available. Someone has downloaded it, Have someone has did the changes into the feature and the new operating system came into the market with the new name. It makes sense. Are you okay? Agree? Yes. What about others? Have you understood my this point? Okay. Cool, good. Yeah. And the third point, yes, Linux is very secure. That's why it's most popular. Okay. As compared to Windows, it's a very secure. 
secure as well as it's stable and performance wise also good stable means the stability of the operating system is very good and the performance means if you will see my desktop my laptop which is around 8 gb of ram and i just opened zoom meeting and chrome and it is consuming around 6.8 gb but if i will use the linux operating system and i will open the same set of tools it will not consume that much 2 gb ram is also enough for me and the performance wise it will be good okay means 1 gb ram is also enough for me if i will use whatever i am using at this point that's the beauty of performance in the linux in the sub servers why we are using linux operating system the reason behind it we will get a good performance with the less resources our application will work properly now you got the answer why the linux is using mostly into the servers yeah okay anyone want to add any other point that also will be good for me the linux run on mostly on like uh, commands uh, less graphics yep. uh, less, yeah there is the less graphics yes you have to deal with the linux operating system or unix operating system with the help of commands and graphic version gui version of linux or ubuntu or all the linux version is also available if you want to use the gui version you can use it that is also possible okay cool guys anyone want to add any of the point why linux is popular before we go more inside it no chalo cool chalo Mm, let's start the linux okay before going into the linux what is operating system because i have directly jumped into the linux that's not good i have to explain you linux is one of the operating system and now if i will ask you the question what is operating system can anyone give me the answer what is operating system operating system is a user interface where user can uh, see the things i can uh, i mean uh, he can use the resources okay if i will tell you operating system is a system software operating system is a system software that manage computer hardware and software and their hardware resources whatever is available to the application because if you will see here i am using i'm my this is my hardware cpu memory disk uh, ethernet wifi gpu gpu all these things are my hardware and with the help of my operating windows 10 operating system this all applications google chrome visual studio zoom and all these applications are running or getting the hardware okay see google chrome is consuming 1600 mb of my ram how it is reaching or how it is reaching to the hardware it is reaching to the hardware because in between there is a operating system and this application is getting a hardware with the help of operating system so i am giving a new name that is a system software that is the use of operating system okay it makes sense operating system is the most important software that's run on a hardware that's run on a computer it manages the computer memory process hardware disk gpu cpu whatever you have softwares and hardwares it is uses and it will provide the resources to the application what it okay yes no yes guys i need a answer from everyone ritu please say something sai saurav yashwant ravi yes sir all good manageable yes sir cool good sir what is kernel okay yes uh, uh where is kernel i will give you that answer also mm -mm. actually uh, i don't want to give at this point because it's a very deep i will take it into the linux administration part okay this is just the linux basics some student will get confused okay that's why i'm not taking at this point but i will take it into the linux administration part that's already in my okay no need to worry okay. now if i will talk about the linux what is linux linux is open source community developed the new open source i told the code is available into the github the second keyword is community developed so community development if you will go to the linux code there are 13000 members are available 13460 contributors are there means it has been developed by the community not by the single person it has been developed by the multiple person that's why we are telling it's a community developed software okay as well as it is used primarily for the computer servers mainframe mobile devices at this point our mobile devices are also coming with the linux operating system 
if you will see some motorola mobile phones they are into the linux operating system as well it supports almost all the computer platform which has a 64 or 32 bit or arm processors linux supports 32 bit 64 bit arm processor almost everything okay and it is providing the wide supported operating system in linux in windows you have to take the support only from the microsoft but in linux there are multiple companies red hat is also there as well as there are open source community is available you can post your query you can raise your questions you will get a support from them also okay uh, these are the places where the operating system is available. Awesome OS is a link where 100 or 20 plus or 30 plus operating systems are available based on Linux. Tarvid Linux is a place where the Linux code is available. Linux operating system code is available. And we have already discussed why Linux is popular. Free, open source, secure, stability and performance wise is very good as compared to any of the other operating system. And if you will compare the same thing with Windows also, Windows is also a most popular operating system, very simple, which can be used by any person who can read or understand the English language. Okay. Windows is also very popular. It's a very simple. It can be used by any of the person who can read or understand a simple English. Okay. It does not require any of the special training for Windows or Mac operating system. It doesn't require any of the special training. Okay. It required DOS to run the various application DOS. Whenever we are purchasing any of the laptop or any of the hardware, it is coming with some operating system, some base operating system. Guys, have you seen the option while purchasing the laptop? They are asking you that do you need an operating system or not? Which operating system you need? But to install the operating system also, some UI is coming that is known as DOS. Okay. If you are not, if you're purchasing a laptop without operating system, then you will get a laptop on the DOS operating system or DOS place where you have to run some more command and, and then you can install the operating system inside it. Okay. Is the extension of this operating system where we will install the things into the disk and we can use it. As compared to Linux, Linux is one of the most popular Unix operating system, okay, plus which is open source and the source code is freely available over the internet, we can download it. We can download if you are a developer, you can do the customization it and you can again push back to the GitHub and it will be available for the market to use it. And if you want to put the license also that you develop some good features, you want to put the license also, you can put the license and you can earn the money. If you have that much knowledge, you can customize it. Yes, you are feel free to do it or it's open. You can do it anytime. Okay. Now, this is the difference between Windows and Linux. I hope you got at least two, two points for comparison between Windows and Linux. Yes, no. Yes, understood. Yes, yes. Thus, Jitendra, at least say something. Prabir, Ravi, Ritu. Okay. Cool. Good. Okay. Now I want to compare between Linux and Windows. Linux is open source, freely available. Windows is not a open source, not free to use. Okay. If you are using a pirated version and you are telling it's a free, no. Windows is not a free. You have to, you must have to purchase a license. Okay. Linux is most efficient operating system as compared to Windows. Most efficient means uh, pricing wise, it will be ease. it will be less. The performance wise, it will be good. Means you have to take a very less resources and you can use it into the Linux. Okay. If you will see the comparison, yes, in the Linux we are using the forward slash. In Windows we have to use the uh, what we can say backward slash. Okay. This is the most uh, common reason. And Linux is highly secure as compared to Windows and Windows is less secure as compared to Linux. Okay. So at least four point keep in your mind. If someone will ask, you must have to give this answer into the interview. Okay. So that he will understand. Yes, you are a little bit familiar about both the things. Now the question will come, sir, how to get the Linux operating system for the practicing purpose? Very important question, right? then why we are using windows in our system akansha if you if it's easy to use i told that see in if you will see this right line windows is most popular simple operating system which is which can be used by any of the person 
who can read english and it doesn't require any special training okay you can bring you can use the mouse if you know the english you can use it but if i'm telling does not require any special training but for linux at least minimum training will be required to use it and in the starting of our career we never get a training and we 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 are not using it we used it and we learned it agree and most of the people will do like that only purchase the laptop use it and then we will learn it no one go for the training and then learn it right and in the linux we need a little bit training and then we can use it that's why windows is most popular i hope my answer is convincing right yeah second point uh, multiple ways to start your career or start the things with linux okay there are multiple approach you can create a virtual machine with any of the cloud cloud provider you can go to google cloud you can go to aws you can go to azure and you can just do some configuration and the machine will be ready for you i did it for the google cloud in couple of minute back yes that is my linux virtual machine okay and if you feel that you are using a windows and you need you can install a small software inside it okay and you can learn some basics of linux command that is also possible and that software is a mobile stream software you can go into this website mobilextreme.download.html i am giving this link here okay and you can uh, those people who are using the mac they don't have to do it okay this is primarily for the windows user in the mac you can use the terminal and you can run some linux command as well because the flavor the backend is already a linux for you guys okay for mac people you don't have to do it whoever is using a windows you can download this software okay download now Okay. It Mac will... also we have a, a, a similar version to this mobile extreme which is Zoc terminal. Correct. That is available, but it's not required for you. Yeah, not required since okay. we are having terminal over here. Yes, you have a terminal already. It doesn't required. Okay. What I am doing it? I am going to the mobile extreme. I am downloading this, and it is of twenty eight MB, and it doesn't require any installation. Okay. The good part is it doesn't require any installation it's already exe file you can open and use it i'm going here i'm just showing into my folder mm -mm, let it get downloaded please mm -mm. yes you can also do it in parallel with me i already given this link to you guys windows people okay Yep, it has been downloaded. I'm showing into my folder. You can unzip it. Okay. You can use any of the software uh, extracted for the extraction. I'm using 7-zip software for the extraction. And this has been extracted with Mobile Extreme Portable Edition. It's a 16 MB file. Okay. It's a 16 MB application, I can say directly. You can click here in that link. Okay. In this software and it will be open for you and it doesn't require any installation so you can use this software in your office laptop also if you want okay and here is the option session and sorry uh -uh, you can click here okay or the option is coming here start a local terminal as soon as you will click here the local linux terminal will be available for you you can run some basic linux command into this place as well free of cost you don't have to go to google cloud anywhere you can install this small software in your machine and you can use it anyone is doing parallel with me uh, prasad sai suraj yashwan ritu manas anyone is doing parallel with me this mobile stream software installation yes yeah i am trying Okay, sign. If you will share your skin, it will be good for us. Prasad is on mobile. Very bad. We don't. We can't learn the practicals in mobile phone. Okay, I will not allow you to do this in my real time classes. You must have to use a laptop. It will be good for you. Okay. Uh, anyone achieved it? Cool. Anyone achieved this? able to reach into this place and guys anyone who want to share the screen facing any of the problem you can share your screen feel free let me know i will allow you manas what about you niyas 
रितु संजय सौरभ गाइस यस नो प्लीज बी फास्ट ट्राइंग ओके चलो गाइस नो वरीज यू कैन ट्राई ओके but it's a very straight forward you have to download the software unstruck it and double click on this application and it will be open like this to you and you can click on this and the new terminal will be open for you where you can run some basic linux command it's not everything is not possible but you can run some basic linux command here for the learning purpose okay cool cool okay let's me go here and another approach is with the help of docker if you are a devops engineer okay you can use a docker also docker is providing a free playground to you here is the option playground okay you can play with the docker and docker is providing a linux platform to you you can use the linux platform for the learning purpose okay i'm just going at this link in my another uh, windows okay yep here i'm just opening this link let's play with docker.com i'm clicking on the login it is asking you to create a account on a docker website i will teach not a web not a bit i will teach okay you can just click here it is asking the username it is asking the password i'm clicking on this and you will get a option play with docker on this place it's a free of cost playground the intention of creation is this thing means you will learn a docker as well as linux free of cost Okay, you just have to click on Add Instance, and the Linux machine is ready for you. Just type ls or whatever the command you know. You can type here, and this all thing for the learning purpose. You can do it. One Linux machine has been created. The number is one sixty two one sixty eight zero thirteen. You want to see how easy the Linux machine creation is, guys? Unmute and tell me. Yes. Do you want to see? Yes. how easy to create a one more linux machine in docker here is a option here is a option just click add new instance creating creating and done ready your node to is available that much is your virtual machine creation free of cost there is no limit there is no asking any card or nothing like that nothing no details just create a account and use it this is known as playground playground means come play for some couple of hours restart the playground and use it again that's the use of playground it makes sense okay all good uh lee any question manas prasad all okay till now because very first problem will come sir we want to learn linux but we don't have the play where we can we, from where we can learn it right so i am giving you multiple options you can go to virtual machine create a linux machine like we created in the last class use this play tool let like a mobile stream and you can use it another is you can go to this playground and you can use the alpine linux image for this playground for the learning purpose these are the three most popular common examples okay and the another option is you can create your physical virtual machine with the help of vmware or oracle virtual box with the help of hypervisor technology this option is a time taking heavy operation i don't want to take it now i will take into the virtual machine classes okay where is my virtual machine classes uh, i close that link uh see hello cloud devops hub let me go to the syllabus when we will learn the virtual machine into the deep that time i will teach that option to you guys okay the virtual machine will come after git jenkins and here the virtual machine we will learn it overview of virtual machine virtual machine creation containers and all these things this time the docker account creation also we will take care as well as we will take care of the virtual machines as well okay because it's a big operation it will take half day for me or around 2 hours or one and one hours for me to get this complete okay so i am not taking this option at this point 
but this is also one of the option with the help of Oracle virtual machine or VMware, we can create it. If you want to see, I can show you O-R-A-C-L-E Oracle virtual box is a software. This software will act as a hypervisor for us and you can choose whatever the virtual machines you want to use it. I'm using Windows 11 dev version here. I'm using CentOS also. I'm using the Ubuntu flavor also. Okay. It's a very easy. You can double click here. It will get, it will take some couple of seconds. Virtual machine is preparing and it will get started in some couple of seconds. It will be started for us in front of you. Preparing a virtual machine. It will take some couple of minutes. Okay. Because it's a heavy operation and it will be up in front of me. This is same like VMware workstation. No? This is VM workstation only. See, yeah. I just mentioned but Oracle VM. Uh, this is an Oracle software, but right. VMware also providing the same software. VMware workstation. workstation. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, Ubuntu flavor is going to be start in front of me in some couple of seconds. See, yeah, Ubuntu is working. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent is ready. It will take some couple of seconds, and this machine will be up and running for me. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. this depends upon our uh, uh, hardware, right? That's why I'm telling it's a heavy operation. Yeah, our system <laughs> hardware. If it's we better. install more instances, I mean, if we created more virtual machines inside that, automatically our system will get slow. Correct. Obviously, that's why I'm not taking care at this point. Okay. And I'm telling it's a heavy operation. It will take a time because that approach is known as hypervisor. And it, resource, it required a resources from your laptop. Okay, from your hardware, it's required a resource. Okay, but I will teach how to install the software from where we can download the image into my virtual machine classes because this is not a virtual machine class. That's why I'm not taking care. Okay, but these are the possible four options we can use it, and I will teach all this for into the deeply into the actual classes as well. And now the question will come, which is the guys? Any question with this? First, let me take it. All okay till now? All manageable? All clear. Others? All clear. Okay. I need one or two more confirmation. Guys, someone please ask the question. I feel bored if no one is someone is not asking any question. I need I need one question, at least any question, please. No, it should not be clear. <laughs> I need at least one question. Please go ahead and ask any question. Uh, Manas, you want to ask? Sai, Lee, at least one question, please. Anything. Uh, is Azure also providing any uh, free, same as like GCP and AWS? Yeah, Azure also is providing the free account. You can create it. Of, um, for, for how much? Uh, uh, I'm not 100% sure. GCP is providing $300, uh, but I'm not sure about the number. But yeah, three months, it is providing a free of free, of, free we can use it for the learning purpose. One month, I think. Okay, one, maybe. Yeah, maybe one month. Okay. There's at least one question I need from anyone. Any dumb question is also acceptable. Please ask. I feel bored if no one is asking. For, for DevOps learning, uh, sir, uh, I have one question. For DevOps learning, we must learn Linux. Uh, See, without Linux, how you will perform the operation into the actual servers? Right, you have to perform some operation. You have to run small, small commands, right? That's why we have to learn the Linux. And no need to worry. I will take care of everything. Okay. If you are whatever I was speaking till from the last five hours, everything I will. If you are able to understand till now, you will able to understand my next forty hours also. Okay, chalo, cool. Uh, most popular operating system or distribution is available into the Linux flavor at this point is Ubuntu. Second is Fedora, Fedora. Third is Mint. And I feel in the real time, CentOS is also popular. Okay. Leave all this in between Puppy and all this in, but CentOS, I feel in most of the company is using it. So you can see if you will trust me, Ubuntu is for the learning purpose best option or for the your free or what we can say for your non-professional non professor you can switch off your camera also it's not required okay uh, ubuntu is the most popular for our for our learning purpose or for our usability 
and CentOS is CentOS and Fedora is mostly usable into the real time if you will use the Linux flavor. Okay. Yes, I saw that Fedora and CentOS in the real time as well. Debian also is very popular. I saw into multiple companies are using Fedora, Ubuntu as well as CentOS flavor. Okay. The Red Hat. Red Hat is also Red Hat is not a free no. <laughs> It's not free, but it is also a part of Debian yeah. only. Okay. Yeah. And yes, let's come into that. If you will talk about the Linux or Unix distribution, Red Hat is providing the enterprise edition software, Fedora, Debian, and other, where in the Debian family, the open source Ubuntu is coming into the picture. Okay. Fedora is also a part of RHEL and Red Hat is providing the commercial licensing so licensing operating system like Unix to us. Okay. So if you will see the distribution, Red Hat is available, Debian, Fedora, and rest everything into the other category. Okay. Three most popular available. Debian, where open source things are available, like Ubuntu, Fedora, where CentOS is also available, which is a part of RHEL. Okay, and Red Hat, so Enterprise Edition, commercial. All these companies are providing only client-based or uh, server-based. Both, both options, server-based or client-based or GUI-based, both options are available everywhere. Okay, but, but the reason is we are only taking the terminal version because resources will be less and we don't have to pay much into the virtual machine charges. That's why we are getting trained on the Linux. That's why we have to learn the commands of Linux. If you are going to use the GUI again, you can use the Windows only, now. Correct? Yes, yes. Uh, and yes, even uh, if you are working for any client side project, we are not going to get the GUI access. They will give only terminal yeah, access. Only yeah, access. terminal. If they have the GUI also, they will not they give won't the access. Okay. They won't give the console access. They'll just yeah. give. The you have to only connect with the SSH option to the right. machine. Right. The reason behind it, the bandwidth, the VPN bandwidth will also get utilized if you will use the GUI version. Correct. Let us assume if I'm taking a two hours of this class with my screen sharing, I'm consuming three to four GB of my internet data. <laughs> right. If you will use this thing with the VPN, four GB for eight hours or 10 GB for eight hours of every users is a very huge amount, huge amount of data transmission with the VPN and they have to pay the charges for the VPN also. They will never allow you. None of the client will you allow need you. more bandwidth also. Yes, you need a heavy bandwidth, 100 GB internet connection, 100 Mbps internet connection is minimum required. I don't think 100 MP is also not enough. <laughs> yeah, it's not enough, but minimum, I'm telling minimum. Yeah. Maximum, though, there is no limit. Okay, minimum 100 Mbps speed is required and constant. Otherwise, your machine will get hanged, your video is getting hanged. So leave that, use the, use the terminal version or server version of that. It will be a performance wise also, it will be good. And if you run the command, let assume you run the command and connection break, the command is already get executed. You don't have to run it again. You can reconnect it and you will get the details again. Okay, that's the beauty. Cool. Someone has asked the question, what is the difference? Suraj has asked the question, what is the difference between Linux and Unix? Guys, everything is already available in my sheet. No need to worry. Okay, but I'm going into the order. Okay. See, uh, Unix is a multitasking, multi-user operating system, but it's not free. Unix is not free. Okay, if you will trust or don't trust me, it is available. It has been developed in 1969, uh, 79, 89, 99, around 50 years back. Unix has been developed, started developing 50 years back, okay, by Thomson and team in at and Labs. It's a widely used on a server workstation or in, uh, work server and workstation, okay. Now, this is Unix, okay, not open source, freely not available. So with the help of Red Hat, you can, with the licenses version, you can get the Unix flavor as well, okay. But if you learn, if you know about Linux, you can work into the Unix flavor as well. It's very same, but some security vulnerabilities or some advanced features is also available into the Unix. Linux is an open source, multitasking, multi-user operating system, initially developed in 1991. The idea came Everything, the idea came from the 1969 with ATT Lab, but in 1991, the Tarvis learners, okay, we are seeing this repo. 
okay if you will see this let tardus lenus linux okay this repo means they this person has started developing the things from the 1991 and in 1991 the linux operating system came into the market around 30 years back okay linux operating system is widely used in desktop desktop mobile and mainframe but unix is primarily used into the servers or workstation you can consider it but you can think that from the unix only the linux came into the market but unix and linux both are not same but from the unix the linux came into the market yes that is a correct it makes sense all good now suraj you got the answer everyone got the answer okay cool okay yeah and there are some more difference between uh, the linux and unix the development happen open source I means with the help of community who develop what point or what line has been written by which person we can get this that's the beauty of github okay chalo let's come to the github these are the 13000 contributors are there okay i am opening that i am opening all the links i was telling the code was started maintaining from the 2006 itself okay and in the 2006 this is the person ralph batch has did two commit in uh, uh, uh december 19 why is showing i don't know but it has been i was just selecting 2004 part and it is showing that time okay and Tyvel is a person who is the active developer 7200 times committed he did and he was doing from the 2004 itself to this and guys take any of the name i will open that which person has written which code at what time that can be available into the github guys can you choose any of the name from this list any of the name person what is the name first person the first the person first which person sure. Some, 7, Steven. Or something Steven, yeah. right the name is Steven. okay if you will see here he has written this many different different repos this is his active work kind of thing okay what he did the part into the linux let me go here i'm clicking on the commits okay and here on 30 november 2022 he written this part okay i'm just opening this and this thing means this 0x19 he has removed it because it is in red color and he changed it to 10xia he did this changes and that has been tracked in the github he what we can say he added this line okay on and the details will be available into this place okay the date and time everything will be available into the links okay and around four days back he did some changes into this place as well and this all details has been tracked he updated this plus 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 months he added this code and minus red means he removed this part like that we can track everything from last how many days how many hours what are things here that's the transparency can be maintained into the github that's the beauty of github that's why the every company around 90 percent or 95 percent companies has adopted the tool github and you can see here from 2014 it is maintaining it means 2004 means around two, before 2004 only the github came into the market okay development is uh let's leave this all points okay comparison you can read it by own it's not a very big difference but yeah cost is free cost is license was one some extensions are there gui is available in both the linux and unix okay users is also there and some more things okay you can have a look i will give this ppt now uh guys all okay till now can i go more more ahead Unmute and let me know. You are listening or sleeping. You are enjoying or not? Yeah, yeah everything is good. All good. All good. Manageable, good, good, digestible. Yes. Chal. Yes, sir. Yes. Cool. Okay, chalo. let's go more deeper into it. When I am talking about the structure, okay, the structure of file system of Linux or Unix, you will see this is the structure. Let's discuss first the window. Okay, because uh, please, Suraj, please mute yourself. I'm going to my C drive. This is my Windows, my C drive. And here you can see some bin folder, BIOS folder, Windows folder, or user folder. Some folders are available, like dev folder, program file folder. This some files are already available in your machine, also. Okay, in the C drive. Same like 
in Linux also, when we will install it, some folders will get automatically created with the help of user root. Okay. So what exactly the root is? Root is a super user with the help of sudo hyphen i command. We can change, check it. Okay. Let's go to the Linux machine. Okay. Without practical, you will not able to understand. Let me go to my virtual machine first. Compute instance. Let me go to the virtual machine. And this is the Raja 4 December. We created it. I'm just clicking on SSH. I will be inside a machine. It takes time. We don't need to worry. Okay. Because I'm connecting to the US server at this point. Okay. At this point, I am a Vikas user. At this point, I am a Vikas user. I want to become a root user or I want to do the pseudo level activities. Pseudo level means a administration level activities. Okay. So what I'm doing it, I have to run the command sudo hyphen I with the help of this command, I will become a root user. And yes, I become a root user. Okay. Uh, let me go to my sheet again. Okay. I become a root user means I become a super user and I will get more privilege to perform the activity with the help of command sudo hyphen I. Okay. And here there is a slash sign here. There is a slash sign. If I will run this. Okay. At this point, there is a tilt option is coming. Tilt. Uh, can anyone give me the answer? What is this tilt sign? Yep, yep. Normal user, I think. I'm already a root user, but what is tilt sign? This is one of the interview question. And when if someone says that I know Linux, I will ask this question. What is tilt sign? Home, home directory. Yes, the correct answer is it's a home directory. Okay. I want to go into the root directory. Okay. CD slash CD command means change the directory. Slash means a root location. At this point, I'm into home. I want to change it to the root direction. Okay. How to check the current directory location with the help of PWD command present working directory present working directory PWD. I'm pressing enter. I'm getting a slash root means home of the root CD slash. If I'm doing it, the conversion has been changed from tilt to the root tilt to the root. Okay means I change the location to the root location at this point. Okay. Slash location. And if you will see here in my image, okay. I came into the root location because I want to be into this location, this still location, and this whole structure will be available as it's available in my C drive, right? As is available in my C drive, same thing will be available into the root directory. Okay. Here, I was telling earlier that here is a back forward slash or backward slash, right? There is a difference at this point. This here is that slash in the Linux is this slash. Okay. I'm going into my place again. And now if I will type LS, I'm, you can see here some more files are available. These files are very similar to this one. This files, whatever is available in my C drive, except my personal thing the structure will be very same like bin bin is available here uh, like uh, like 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 dev dev is also available here uh, like etc the program file is available here okay like root like system or there is a user you can see this user folder is available here and the user option is available here it's available in your machine also not in my machine okay you can go into this and you can see some users are available what is the use of this user folder Guys, give me the answer. Where it would have the complete user information, whatever we are having guest user, admin user, standard user, whatever the users yeah, are. Correct. All the we users the who is accessing my this C drive or accessing my this operating system, that all details will be available. It will be available in your machine also. Mostly, my machine name is admin, your machine name is your name. Okay. So, this is available. So, in Linux also, it's a very same thing. If I will go to the user, whatever the users are available, that user information is available. Okay. So let me go to my sheet. Okay. ETC where the system configurations are available, like program file, bin where 
already executable files are there means ready to run like a programs or binary file there are some binary files are available which are ready to use it we can go into the bin location and we can use it user directory where all the users related information is available users home page will be available into the user directory in our windows there is a recycle bin after deleting some files will go into the recycle bin into the windows but in linux after deleting not if you want to do some temporary options you can go into the slash temp folder okay i will go from my this place cd slash temp uh, temp sorry slash temp means with the help of cd command i'm changing a directory to the temp directory where is the temp uh, uh, yeah this is the temp okay cd slash temp i'm going inside a temp directory in this point i'm pressing enter see you can see here at this point i'm into the temp directory so slash temp is showing here okay and if you will type ls whatever the temporary files will be available into this place ls is a listing of the file ls is a listing of the file list of file will be available here if you want to see in the windows also the same option okay at this point it is listing okay if you want to see the date time modification and all these things there is a different command in linux uh, guys can anyone who already know the linux can you give me that command i want to see the date time and size of this file guys give me the command uh, is it ps uh, ps is a running process no answer is wrong i am expecting the date time and size of this file with the help of command yep anyone knows no no worries i'm here ls hyphen l long list list it ls means list into a long term hyphen l i'm pressing enter and you can see here has been created by the root has been created by vikas this is the size this is the date time and all this thing let me make a bigger screen and you will see a good thing okay this is the permission created by which user on which date and all these details will be available here the command is ls hyphen l long list is able to understand little bit of linux with the help of command yes yes everyone kashyap fresher i want to answer from the fresher who is the fresher here at this point complete fresher who is seeing the linux terminal very first time at least one fresher will be here uh me yashwan please unmute and let me know you are able to understand yes sir i am able to understand a little bit little bit uh, this is first time right so correct but if you will see this recording again i feel you will be comfortable right ah uh, yes sir okay yeah okay cool but whatever i am trying to deliver you are getting it Yes, sir. I'm able, able to remember it. It's okay, but you are getting it at this point. Yes, sir. I'm getting it. Cool. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. Okay. So I'm. That's why I'm comparing with Windows so that you will able to understand. We can yeah. even use ls minus lrt, right? Uh, no, multiple options are there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I'm just asking. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Your answer is correct. Ls hyphen lrt also we can use it. Okay. But I want to make it the thing simple, so I'm starting with the simple. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, the console linux look like something confused what confusing okay uh, don't be confused i am into the linux terminal the table would jam aadadu monday the order is mute okay chalo and akansha you got the answer why li linux is not much popular because it's required a training to understand that <laughs> okay chalo cool yep okay and yes and there are some more commands some more directories are there root uh, is a super user sudo hyphen i we can get it etc system configuration file bin any of the executable file which is ready to use like mobile steam we can directly put into the bin folder and we can use it if you want users okay all the user related information will be available into the user directory temp if you want to perform any of the temporary operation you can go into the temp folder and you can use it 
dev devices file like while we installing if we are let assume we are going to install a docker so where the docker is getting installed that will be available into the dev folder into the linux machine okay so when we will talk about the file structure of linux we are talking about this six places if you know the one line and answer or one comparison with windows you will able to remember always okay and we will discuss more deep into our real time classes also okay cool and let's come and see some more linux command which we have to see it okay the some more linux command is the very first basic command is host name uh you know if i will run this command into my windows also that command will work this is my command prompt of windows h o s t n a m e enter and i am getting my host name as a devops yes devops is my host name okay some commands will be workable in windows command prompt also if you have used it it's very good and if you don't know it's okay you can run some commands into the command prompt as well to understand little bit more into that okay host name i use the command host name and i am getting a devops into my windows i am running the same command into the linux h o s t n a m e and i am pressing enter i am getting a host name raja 4 december and this is my machine name that's why i am getting a raja 4 december here okay you can verify this detail you can go into this place and you can see here raja 4 december is my machine name that is known as host name of the machine okay second command host name hyphen i if you want to see the ip address of the machine yes this is the internal ip address of my machine 10 128 0 14 <coughs> 10 128 0.14 is my internal ip address of the machine now what is the question will come sir what is the difference between internal ip address and external ip address can anyone give me the answer what is the difference between internal ip address and external ip address no raja no 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 yes. i need answer from someone okay. no 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 <laughs> uh, uh can i uh yeah prasad uh internal is uh, cloud providing a one internal uh, uh, network Correct. like vpn or uh, something okay so external is publicly we can access correct i agree see let assume this machine and this machine want to talk with each other they can connect with the internal ip address also okay they don't have to go to the internet yes. if you have a two house in your two rooms in your house you don't have to go outside to the gate and come inside it no there is a internal gate is always available you can go from that room to do another room right same way internal ip address external ip address if you want to connect to the internet you want to come outside to the google cloud as well then the external ip address can be usable same thing we created a website it should be internet accessible that's why it is accessible with the help of external ip and if you want to access that website internally from this vm to this vm yes you can use this ip address also and you can use it the less traffic less proxy less security will be required okay cool you got the answer what is internal ip what is external ip okay and some discussion is happening for the who am i command who am i okay chalo let me run that command i am going here and i am running that command who am i at this point which user has been connected i connected with the i am accessing this request with the help of root user so root is coming and if i will change the user okay if i will come out with the root user and i will run this command my username also will get changed how to come out how to come out with the root user to your actual user there is exit command e x i t i am pressing enter now i connected with vikas user i logged out from the who, from the root user and i came out to the vikas user okay now i want to run if i will run the who am i command w h o a m i command i am pressing enter this time i am get a answer vikas for cloud all good you get the answer what is who am i command who am i i am vikas at this point earlier i was a root okay so i if i will make it sudo hyphen i s u d o hyphen i and if i will run the same command again who am i i am getting a root answer and earlier i was getting because i changed the user okay that's the use of who am i command mm -mm. i am going here there are some more commands are like 
curl, uname, ls, pwd, some more commands are available. I will explain you all these things. Okay. Uh, guys, just I want to talk with you. Are you guys able to understand till now? Manageable, understandable? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, it's clear. Okay, clear. Can we go more deeper in, in the today's part only? Or can we take five minute break and we will continue? We take a break. Okay. I'm taking, we are taking just five minute break, digestion break. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, what will happen? It will get bonds back. Okay. Just take five minute break and we will continue here. Okay. Uh, I'm starting the timer. CLO, CK. Okay. Mm -mm. five minute break let me go here let me refresh it let me click here five minutes save and i'm starting a five minute guys please be back in five minutes okay
uh, guys, I am back. What about you guys? Just raise your hand or unmute and let me know. Yeah, here. Yep. yep, Prasad is here. What about others? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm also here. Cool, 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 cool. Good. One more or two more confirmation. Yep. Okay. Cool. Let's see some more commands. Okay. And we will wind up for the today's part. Uh, PWD, uh, we have already seen it. Uh, we have to see the, we have seen the internal IP. Okay. With the help of hostname hyphen I. If you want to see the external IP of the machine, okay, there is a curl. Uh, anyone here who already know what is curl? What do you mean by curl? Okay, no worries. Uh, curl is a utility uh, to connect, to check any of the connectivity externally. Okay, so with the help of curl command, I'm running, I'm going into this website, ifconfig.me and I'm getting my external IP 35.225. Let's verify. I'm not sure. Where is that? Yeah. 35, 225, 23, 66, 23, 66. Yes, I am getting an external IP with the help of utility curl and with the help of IF config website or command, you can say. Okay, this is how we can check external IP. Internal IP, we can check it with the help of hostname hyphen I command. So what I want here, you have to remember. Yes, you have to remember 20, 25 commands in the Linux so that you will be a good into the Linux part. Basics of Linux, you will understand. If you will understand 30 commands, you will be a one level ahead. If you understand 40 commands, you are good. You can perform every operation into the Linux. Command is the only key with the help of you can understand the Linux. Okay, Chalo, cool. Uh, you name you name is the next command it will display the flavor name of the machine okay at this point all the linux machine the black screen looks similar right if you don't know the detail no need to worry but if you will run the command you name okay you will get to know this is the part of linux flavor not a unix it's a linux okay we are learning linux in our today's session so you name is a linux Okay. If you have type hyphen A, Unix hyphen A, and if you will press enter, the complete detail of my this machine will be available. Yes, this is a Linux flavor. The machine name is Raja. This is the version which I am taking from the Google Cloud. Okay, some internal IP, Ubuntu flavor, when it has been created, and all this detail. How much is the 64 bit processor? What is this? Which Linux it is? G, this is GNU Linux. So, this all details will come with the help of uname hyphen A command. Okay. And what is the next command? LS. LS, we have already typed multiple times. If you want to see the listing, what are things available in this current directory? Okay. Sorry, my mistake. LS. Whatever files we have downloaded aval, aval.zip file from the internet with the help of wget command and we extracted it with the help of uh, what we can say unzip command, un and unzip and then we get this HTML file. This is the code of our website which is already running here. I will show you. Yep, I am going here. I am running this. I am pressing enter. This is a code for our website. No, this is not. Sorry, this is my browser problem. Okay. I'm opening the incognito window. I'm pressing here. And yeah, this is the website which we have created a world. Okay. Uh, guys, what is the problem? In the same IP address, I get this thing. In the same IP address, I get this thing. What is the problem? It's a real time problem in IT. What is this? Both. I think uh, cash number. Correct. It's a cache issue. Okay. That's why in the incognito window, whenever we are going to do any of the deployment into the production environment or IT operation people do the testing, you must have to clear your cache browser or you have to use the incognito window. Then only you will get the correct result. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, LS PWD is a command with the help of this, we can get the present working directory information. PWD. Let me run this command here. There is my Linux machine. Yep. PWD and you will, you will get the detail. At this point, I am into this location. So I'm getting an answer with the help of PWD command. Okay. And another is CD command. With the help of CD command, we can change the directory. Okay. With the help of CD command, we can change the directory. We can navigate to the another folder if you want. And in Windows, if I want to create a new folder, 
how can i create it guys can you please help me out i am into this folder i want to create a new folder how to create it in windows right click new <laughs> right click uh, at uh, control shift n okay yes that is also correct right click new and click on the folder and the new folder will get created who is giving this answer prasad prasad p r a s a d okay and yes prasad is teach how to create a new folder into the windows now if i want to create a new folder into my linux machine okay what i have to do it i have to run a command yes what can be the command the command is mkdir uh, mkdir make a directory you have to give the name i am giving the name p r a s a d p r a s a d i am pressing enter and the new folder has been created how to verify it with the help of this yes. command i can see that yes new folder prasad has been created so folder creation in linux can be achieved with the help of command mkdir make directory okay yeah uh move if you want to move the folder or you want to rename the folder you can do with the help of mv command in windows let us assume you want to rename this you can click on the rename and you can change to prasad 1 and you can do it right in linux if you want to do it yes you can do with the help of mv command mv p r a s a d prasad you want to change it to prasad 1 p r a s a d 1 and press enter if you will type ls it has been renamed to the prasad 1 in windows we can use the gui and we can do it but in linux we have to use the command and we can do it with the help of mv i rename the folder okay digestible till now yep someone is asking cat command uh, okay suraj uh, guys anyone please help him what is the cat command anyone knows cat command is used to create file to open a file okay with the help of the cat command we can open the file if you want to create a file you have to use the utility t o u c h touch command can you help me out who asked this question saurabh s touch. a u r a b h with the help of touch command i created the empty for empty file with the name saurabh i press enter you can see here one file has been created with the name saurabh with the help of cat command i can read this file cat s a u and i am pressing enter and at this point you can see it's a empty file so empty details are coming here got it yes no guys yes no all okay yep okay and if you want to delete the file in windows what you can do it you can go here you can click on the right click and click on the delete and the file got deleted and move into the recycle bin okay but let us assume you want to delete the file into the linux then what you have to do it you have to use the command rm remove rm command remove i want to remove the file saurabh s a u and press enter as soon as i will press enter and type ls you can see the saurabh file has been removed it is deleted it's not moving to the recycle bin because there is no recycle bin concept available into the linux okay there is no recycle bin concept available into the linux it's removed means it's deleted it's a permanent delete okay yeah we can even use rm minus r right uh, rm minus r for removing the directory or recursive let us yeah, 10 plus 5 or 5 plus 5 you want to do it every one shot then you have yeah. to use rm hyphen r to delete that Okay. It is a huge file or something like that. huge or big file or directory inside the directory or multiple Complete files are there. Yes, and if it's a single file, use the rm command and delete it. These are the very basic command. Some advanced level commands also there in future. Okay, yep. Touch we have already seen it with the help of touch we can create a blank or empty file. Echo. Uh, in our programming language, let us assume whatever I am writing it. If you want to print it. E C H O E C O T A K I N G taking batch twenty eight 
S E S S I O N and I'm pressing enter it means whatever I have written inside the key inside the double quote inside a double quote that will get print into my screen. Okay. Uh, what is the technical meaning of this multiple keywords? Guys, what is the technical meaning of this? Whatever I am writing into the double quote. If someone will give that answer, I will be very happy. What is the technical meaning? I written the multiple English keyword into the double code. What does it mean into the development perspective? I got the very correct answer from the Ritu that is known as string. Yes, it is called string in the technical term. Okay. Cool. Let's leave it. Okay. Man command. Okay. I'm using the man command. Let us assume H I S T O R Y. I am running one more command history. Whatever command till now I have run into this Linux machine, whatever the command I have run till now into this Linux machine, I will get it. I just type history. I, I run the 42 command in front of you. That all details are already available here. All 42 commands which I run in front of you, it's available here. We install the Docker, we check the version and all these things available into this list. 42 commands I have run in front of you. Okay. How to check it? It has been checked with the help of history keyword. Let assume, let assume, guys, anyone is getting confused with any of the command. Please choose the number. Feel free that you haven't understood this command. Please let me know. Choose any of the number, any of the command, PWD, CD, LS, any of the command, please. Yes, I know. Which command? 18th, 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 18th. CD slash. CD slash time means changing a directory and I am changing into the another location. Okay. Means if you want, let us assume you are very new to Linux. You don't know what is the CD command itself. Okay. Okay. So remember only one command. The command name is man. Okay. Remember this command. The command is man. Man is a manual. Okay, and type the command after that. And as soon as you will press enter, it will give the detail of that command. What is this command belong to? MN, CD, sorry. Uh, there is no entry available. How come? Okay, chalo, CD entry was not available. So I just run the ls command and list the directory content. It will list the detail of that thing will be available into this place. Okay, so man command, if the entry is not available, I can't help. Okay, the ls entry was available. You type, you can type the command man ls and you will get the detail what exactly this ls command says. Let me run it again. And it is telling listing the directory ls belong to listing the directory, whatever is available. ls is a long list. Correct. And with the help of Q, I'm coming out. I'm coming out to this window. Make sense? Cat and touch command. Okay. Let us assume Baswa Guda is telling that he don't know what is the cat command. I'm running the man. I'm running the cat command and I'm pressing enter. Cat is the full form of cat is consolidated file and print on a standard output. What I was telling, whatever has been written into the file with the help of cat, it will print. Yes, it will print on the standard output. Whatever has been written into the file, it will get that information with the help of cat command. I'm again typing Q and I'm coming out. Guys, any command you don't know, you forgot it. Just remember one command MAN and try it. You will get the answer with the help of Linux itself. Cool. Fine, fine, sir. Fine, thank you. Yeah. And these are the basics of Linux, which I want to show till the today's session. All good? All manageable? Yeah, everything is good. Okay, uh, there are some more Linux related things which I will show you uh, into the actual classes or if possible, uh, I will bring some more seminars okay, like this and I will help you out. Okay, but in the real time for the Linux, I have to teach a lot of things to you guys. Okay, uh, generating a password, generating a public key, private key, secure shell, VI editor, VI editor, permissions of the file, yum, apt, what is the difference between yum and apt cron job basics unix tools http response code linux boot up process how the linux has been started some more linux command for the shell script 
and some more hardware related information, some cheat books like that I will give in my real time classes. This all information to you guys. Okay, means this is the complete Linux session which I will take care into my this classes. At this point, what all things we have seen it, let me make it green, okay? For you to understand, uh -uh, Linux, yes, Linux topic overview, history, importance of Linux, popularity of Linux, Linux architecture, open source, and hierarchy. So I will make this part green. In the real time, what will happen in our classes? If we learn something, we will make the things green that this is completed, okay? And here also, uh, this part we have completed today. So let me make it green. Okay. Uh, little bit about server, data center, virtualization, introduction to public hybrid cloud and big picture practical Windows 11. And yeah, these all things we have already seen into the yesterday and today's part. So I'm making it green. Okay. So three class things, I take it into the two class. Okay. And normal no i haven't touched i haven't touched yes some day-to-day -day linux command i have explained it so let me make it green okay and yeah that's it this is the thing which we have learned in the last two days so my syllabus will see as soon as i will batch start whatever things we are making it complete we are making it green if any of the confusion to any of the student they can tell us that this part is let assume this is not completed so i can make it red in front of everyone and i will explain it whenever is possible today tomorrow next time or i will explain it and we will go continue into the order Th same thing we will discuss in our real time batches as well i hope you got an idea yep yes no all good yes 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 yes, yes sir yeah uh, guys any question anything Uh, this is my website. This is my mobile number. You can WhatsApp me anytime. I will be responding very frequently. Okay. I will respond to you as soon as and I will upload this recording also in my YouTube channel. Okay. Here is my YouTube channel, Cloud DevOps Up. I want your subscription here. And I need at least some feedback, comment into this places. Okay. Like you can go to my Facebook page, you can go to my LinkedIn, at least send me a connection request. Okay, so that if I will publish anything new, you we will get connected with each other. Okay, because recently I have been starting these all things. Okay, I get one comment from Akansha. I get one comment from the CF. Cool. Um, I need a comment from everyone. It will be good for me. <laughs> right? If I will get your subscription, it will be good for me. And definitely you will also get an update from me. If you will write some feedback also, some reviews, it will be good. Okay, You can come here. There is a reviews part. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is no one not yet rated one review. Okay. Um, yeah, you can write it, please. It will be good for us. Okay. So that if any improvement will be required, you can tell me. I will improve that part. Okay. And we will connect it again very soon. How long the how long will be the classes will be regular classes? Yeah, cool, very good question. I think that answer uh, I will give it to you right away. Uh, see, this is my syllabus, so I need fifty regular classes. Okay, fifty regular or fifty one or fifty two regular classes I need of one and a half hour every day. Means I need two and a half months from you guys. So in the two and a half months, I will complete all these things with practicals, with theory, and like that. Uh, this is my batch 27 recorded videos okay so you i will create a new batch recording for a batch 28 also one two three class recording i will upload into the youtube okay same thing i already did it here if you will see here in my playlist okay this is i'm starting for batch 28 where is that batch 28 yeah batch 28 live session so yesterday class i uploaded as a batch 28 already okay so like that i will upload something into my youtube channel you if you want to see batch 27 recordings you can go into this place and you can check it so around five six classes i will upload into my youtube channel and rest everything will be available into my this drive for my actual students Okay, and Kashyap is asking how much is the course fees? The course fees uh, we are charging at this point is 22,000 rupees. And yeah, if you will join me early or you will register by today, I will give some discount as an early bird discount. 
okay so that i will get a actual number how many students are coming for the batch three students have been already registered with us okay so i need at least eight to ten members so that i will start my batch if i will get my eight to ten students i will give a discount and after that 10 students i will not give any discount okay is that fine so whoever is really interested you can join me and yes we will continue our journey for the next two months and at the end i will make you a success story for sure like this student where is that uh, if you will see here uh, after some couple of months after one month uh, some batch 27 success stories are there in the batch only in the next two months how the student learned it that reviews are available here and you can see some more what we can say mm -mm, yeah success stories are here for every batch how many students got placed or how many students are getting the offers like that okay uh, you can see some student who got 8 8 offers of 100 200 plus percent hikes also that will be available here can you please upload the timetable of course in the chat Kashyap is not a practically possible you can go into this link or you can go to my website and click on this place it will be open in your machine if i will put into the excel sheet into the chat the order will be meshed up okay Kashyap <laughs> yes or no yep so you can go into my website you can click here and this excel sheet will be open for you and yes uh, just five minutes back, I have updated this, so it will be. And this is the syllabus which I decided for the patch 28. And every two months, three months, I'm updating some practicals, so I will update into this place. Okay, it's in the Excel, it will be easily manageable. If I will put everything on the website, it will be difficult to manage it. And Excel, I can easily change it whenever it wants. But this is the syllabus I will download. You can download it, or I will download and give it to you when we will start an actual batch from the batch 22, 20, from the 12th of December. So I will put it into your drive and we will discuss it. Like you can see here in the batch 27, mm, batch 27 PPT drive, I will download this uh, syllabus and we will follow that. Okay, where is that syllabus? Okay, for batch 27. So this syllabus will be available for you. We are following that. And if you will open it, you can see that everything is completed in batch 27. 5th December, 5th September, it has been started or 5th November, it has been completed like that. And everything is green. Okay. And some of my happy students are already here. Niaz, I think I know you are my student, right? Niaz Ahmed, is I'm correct, yeah. Karan? Yes, sir. Right, sir. <laughs> correct. Yeah. From which batch? It's a twenty seventh. Okay, you are from twenty seventh only. Cool man. Yeah. <laughs> Gaining knowledge, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. You are always welcome. You can come to my next whenever it will happen. If I am the trainer, you are welcome. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Any, anyone else is my old student here? I feel. Hi, Vikas. Good morning. Hey, Sorry, yes, good afternoon. Chef. Hey, Chef. How chef. Are you? Yes, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, Chef is also my oldest friend. Which batch, Chef? Uh, 25 Vikas. Okay, cool, cool. I think you repeated 27 batch also, as I remember. Yeah, yeah. 27, I connected for some time, then I couldn't connect. Okay. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> How things are. So ah, that's why I think it's a, it's a good chance now to restart again. <laughs> oh my God. 25, you did 27, 28 again, you will come. Yeah, because it's a good thing. Obviously, to keep uh, yourself updated, it's a very good thing to do so. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. So definitely we'll see how this time the things go. <laughs> yep, yep. But uh, safe, you have to provide me some reference, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cool, cool, good. No worries. Yep. Yeah, guys, that's it for today. If you have any question, feel free to ping me. And Yashwant has asked some big question. I have completed my BCA. I joined MCA. Give me some suggestion like on what course should I get a professional like programming language, which is good in future head. Uh, Yashwant, if you want to learn the programming language and you feel that you are able to do that part, okay, then I will suggest you, you can go with the Python. Okay, you can start it. But if you are not good into the programming, oh. okay, if you are not good into the programming, mm -hmm. then cloud or DevOps is a good part. Okay, because uh, programming is practically 
not very easy to achieve it. Basic level code, so anyone can do it. But, uh, Yashant, your voice is breaking. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. yeah, you are able to hear me? Sir, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you want to yeah. go for the programming language, then start with Python. Okay. Or I will also okay. teach the Python uh, in these days. Okay. What exactly it is at the okay, end sir. of this session? See, Python is also there. Python for DevOps. Whatever the Python is required. And I'm 100% sure whatever I will teach in this two hours, you will not able to learn with any of the trainer in the next 20 days or one month also. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. First uh, thing I will teach into this because I feel at the 47 days with me, you will be a matured person. Okay. Yes, sir. And Good. I will Thank teach you. whatever is required for the DevOps, I will teach here also. Okay, but mm, if okay, you are okay. comfortable that you don't want to learn the programming, then cloud or DevOps is the best option. You can put okay. whatever is my projects into your real time uh, in your examinations also or in your yes, MCA projects also. Okay, mm -hmm. three projects mm -hmm. be required first year, second year, third year, first project, second th project, third project. <laughs> you can get uh, it. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Otherwise, you will go somewhere, you will pay some amount or you will create it by own. It will take months to do that. But I will give you all this code, everything. You don't have to worry for that part. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Baswant is asking, can non-IT students can do a DevOps and cloud? Uh, what do you mean by non-IT? Mechanical branch, civil branch? Okay. Uh, you know, civil also get placed in big MNCs and mechanical, lots of mechanical students are working in the IT companies. Guys, help me out. Yes or no? <clears throat> My brother is from mechanical background. Right now, he's a DevOps engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, yes. Yes. So why do you have to worry? Yes, non-technical persons. I will tell you, TCS will come to any of the college campus and they will not see the branch also. Whatever is the branch, if you will crack the aptitude exam, yes, they will teach and they will take you into the support project or some project. Most of the big MNCs, you don't have to worry for that part. If you are coming into the IT, then cloud is the, the cloud and DevOps is the future for you. If you will learn it, you will be into very good shape in next one year or two years, you will get a good package, whatever the people are getting after five years or 10 years experience. Yeah. So yes, I will say that non-IT people also can come into the cloud because non-IT civil, they are engineers, right? Yes, they can come. Yep. But I'm from I... BSc background. Uh, CSC, okay. No, not CSC, BSc. Okay, BSc, okay. It's a graduation. It's not uh, engineering. It's not BTEC. 10 years back, 10 years back, engineering was not popular. Everyone, if you will see your managers, BCA, BCOM only. <laughs> Yeah, that's what like. <laughs> I'm also from BSC only. Yes, my brother, he is a BCA and he's in US and he's a product manager in a complete complete technical. Okay. Nowadays so, it doesn't matter whatever we have pursued. If you have a knowledge and he's in the Facebook. Right. BCMC, okay. So no need to worry about that part. Never ever. Uh sir, will Python cover in this DevOps? Yes. Kashab, yes, yes, yes. Here is that. Python is there. I will teach it on the day 47 but i will not teach you python programming because i don't want to make a python programmer okay or python developer i will make i will teach whatever is required for the devops engineer yes that i will teach okay and i will take what i can say that here multiple mini projects are here okay i will teach multiple mini projects which are available on Python. If you guys need a link, I will give you to you right away. Okay. So that you will see what all things I will teach into the Python also. Uh, 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 where is Python for DevOps? And do we have 8.1 also? Python. Okay. Yeah. I am opening this sheet. Okay. Yeah. How to learn Python for DevOps. I will start what all programming languages are available because I will not directly start the things. Okay. I will give the background. Okay, so that you will understand Perl, Python, Shell script, everything. Okay, then why we have to learn the Python? Okay, for the DevOps, why the Python has been loved by the DevOps, developers people? Okay, when the Pythons came, Python came in the 1980s. Okay, around 40 years back. If you don't know, be available, be understand. Okay, Python came in 80s. Okay, 
And like that, like that, why Python has to be learned? Because in Java, you have to write that much thing. In Python, you can type print and hello world. It's that much simple. That's why I will encourage you to learn the Python as well. Basics of Python. Okay. Python programming, all these details. What is the difference between two and three? Now the practicals will come main.py file, freeze, install Python, and all the details, how to install it on Windows, how to install it on Linux, like that, okay? And what are the modules available in Python? Mini projects, okay? If you will see here, here is the, my repo, okay? You will go here in this projects, okay? I'm talking about, you are thinking how much Python I will teach? One, two, three, that many projects are available into that. Okay, around 50, 60 projects are available here only for Python. Okay, these are the mini projects. Whatever you want, every code is available like alarm clock, alarm clock.py. This is a code available for alarm clock. Means around 40, 50 projects, I will give it to you. And if you will understand two projects also, more than enough, you can write in your resume. Okay. And that all things I will show you to you. Okay. And then the big project. Okay. Where is the big project? These are the small project. And big project, yeah, here is a big project, uh, which is which we will run on a Google Cloud microservice demo. And if you will go to the code of this, this is coding, okay, this is programming, okay. Uh, we have to go into the source code, okay, source code where all the code is available. If you will see the ad service, and if you will see here, mm -mm -mm -mm, sorry, my bad. Mm -mm. Let me go to the source code, okay and i will show you email service okay and if the extension is py means it's written into the python language yes this is the which microservice demo which i will give it to you and this code is written into the python okay and this is my project two means everything is correlated with each other okay don't feel that i will teach something new things everywhere no this is the code for the e-commerce website the python project okay so you will learn python here and you will utilize into this project it makes sense? No, you don't have to require any pre-course because I will start from very basic and everything from the basic only. Okay. You don't need any pre-request never because if I will tell you, you have to do something, then what is the use of me? I will take care of everything. As I started the things from very basic cloud computing, I started from Linux, very basic. It will go from the basic and it will go into the upper level. Always and every day you will feel you have learned something new with me. Uh, today you guys are feeling that you learned that you learned something new. Yeah. Cool. And then we will connect this Python with AWS SDK. Okay. We will connect the Python code with SWK and we will take care of some practicals in Amazon Cloud with Python means as an automation part. Okay. We don't have to learn anything into the code. We don't have to learn anything, right? We have to learn the Python with automation as a DevOps engineer. And that we will do it here. Uh, can I get the project GitHub link? Yes, it's open for me. I don't have any worries. You can take care of this. Sai is asking this. Yes, here is that. All code is available for you. I'm charging for theory. <laughs> Okay, guys, unmute and say yes or no, happy, not happy, satisfied, not satisfied, all good, not good. Satisfied. Cool. Okay. And guys, uh, please, if you are really interested to join me, uh, what you can do it, you can go into this link. Okay, sorry, not call me. Uh, 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 yeah, you can register into this link. Okay, register into this. Uh, zoom link so that what will happen we will start our new actual batch on from 12th itself okay yes. this is my link this is the link where you can register you can go into my website also and you can go into this image aws plus devops nine modules so syllabus is here and registration if you will click here also it will get started. okay syllabus you are going into the syllabus uh yeah here is the registration okay you can click on the registration or if you will open this website uh, in a new incognito window okay or anywhere again then you will see the pop-up will be there for the registration you can click on the registration also that is also fine 
if we want to uh, register for the weekend batches uh, is there any uh, option for that or automatically uh, raja uh, weekend batch i will start next month but you can join this batch and you can come to weekend batch also i will not charge anything free of cost <laughs> <laughs> okay but you for can... class you get missed right <laughs> uh, it's okay if you will miss it you will get to know you can do complete whenever i will do the weekend batch okay in 15 uh. days next one month okay you can come right in. Said like oh. some old students are already there, right? Twenty five, twenty. Some tenth batch are two years back. Students also coming, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they need to WhatsApp to me. <laughs> Sir, can I join? Yeah, actually, yeah, like no uh, yeah, weekdays it's not possible for me to. Uh, no, no, see here, see here. Some old student message me. Okay, uh, like that. Uh, Sir, you have sent a link to the group for the registration. Should I register for that? You are already my student. You can come and to the live session also. I will message like that, <laughs> right? Okay, okay. I will say, see, why should I ask the question again, right? If you are my student, if your number is get saved in my mobile phone, it's done. Because see, as soon as the batch has been created, I will show you. Uh, B A T C H twenty seven. Okay. See, uh, it has been started on fifth September. If I saved your number, okay, you are done. Means you are always my student. See. Ajmal and all these things, batch twenty seven. I saved this number, everyone's number, and you are already my student. So I will not never ask any question with you. Okay. <laughs> right. Only key is if your number is get saved in my mobile phone with the batch name, I will understood. If you message me also, I will not tell you to call always. Okay. Message me. Yes. Done. Enough. Okay. Okay. You can see here all the batch twenty seven details message people are here, and I am not talking with only latest student. Okay. If you will see here, batch thirteen. Okay, uh, okay. I will show you some students. Okay, very old students also. They are pinging me. Uh, R A J N I F H. Uh, Friday only I talk with this person. Batch thirteen. Okay. <laughs> right. And there are lots of students who are from the very so old. For weekdays, so how many hours it will be? One hour. One and a half hour. One and a half from eight to nine thirty. Uh, eight to nine thirty. Yes. Okay. So then weekend will be uh, uh, two three, hours. Three, 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 uh, two to an hour. Two hours minimum. Two to one hour. Yes. I mean Saturday. Two, two hours Sunday. I will teach. Saturday Sunday. Two hours I will teach. Fifteen minutes or half an hour till the discussion will go. Yeah. Half an hour we will make the discussion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Guys, I want you to all to get registered. Okay, and learn with me. You will feel very proud at the end of the sessions. Okay. Yeah, that's it from my side. If you have any question, feel free to ping me anytime on the WhatsApp. Here is my WhatsApp number on my website. And I really need some comments on any of the social media. It will be helpful for you. And yeah, guys, that's it from my side. All okay? Uh, Kashab, no personal sessions. I cannot take one to one, but you can come to any of the live batches at the end of the session, and you can ask the question. Okay, if you are into the rotational shape, what is the solution? Join this batch. If you miss this batch, you can come to any other batch, weekend batch, or if I will start any of the evening batch, you can come into that batch also. But I am not committing at this point when which batch is going to start. The batch is going to be start twelve. Uh, this is the regular batch. And weekend batch is the next batch, which I will start after fifteen twenty days. Okay. If you miss the recording, is always available for you. You can have a look into the recording and ask the questions any time. Okay. Cool. Yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ah, uh, no, I am not taking offline classes, please, because my some students are from the US, UK also. <laughs> Uh, like Lee, right? Uh, Lee's into the New York, so I can't take the offline classes. And you will not come. Everyone will come to Bangalore. Yes or no? Yep. Earlier, I we before COVID, we were completely offline. But due to COVID, we are completely online. That's why my all recording from batch thirteen and fourteen is available. All ten batches recording. We never did the recording because it's a offline classes. From batch thirteen, everything is online. Everything I have the details available with me, all recordings, all the things, because procedure got changed in offline and online, right? Okay, guys.
Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye, guys. I'm stopping. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. And recording will be available in my YouTube channel in next one hour. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you all. Bye bye. Thank you.